Tim, T-I-M, last name is Sandifer, S-A-N-D-I-F-E-R. Work for Anaheim Fire and Rescue. Chief, talk about where we are, what's going on. A couple of lanes were blocked with fire apparatus. Starting with the time, walk me through it. Okay, yeah, at uh, approximately 17, let me do it again. Chief, uh, starting with the time of the call, walk me through what's going on now this evening. Okay. Yeah, at about 7.40 this evening, uh, units from Anaheim Fire and Rescue were dispatched to uh, the 5 southbound 5 freeway between uh, Brookers and Euclid for a reported traffic accident. Upon arrival, the first uh, engine company on scene reported a single vehicle accident with two patients. Um, one of the patients was um, extremely entangled within the wreckage. The first patient was transported uh, to a local trauma center uh, relatively quickly by the first engine company and the auto extrication began uh, with the next arriving truck company relatively soon thereafter. Um, it was a complicated um, extrication and um, once that patient was removed from the wreckage uh, it was determined um, that it was a fatal uh, traffic accident. Um, appears to be a, a young adult male um, that um, was killed in the incident. Um, are any lanes blocked and what did he hit? What did they hit? Yeah, it looks like right now um, we have the slow lane uh, and the next lane over blocked. Um, and it's just for fire apparatus um, to protect the scene while we're performing our work here. As far as what he hit, it looks like in one of the overpass signs, the, the pole supporting that overpass sign is what he hit, single vehicle TC. Okay, and um, you know, an extrication to re kind of remove that body. And how long did that take? Uh, it was a very, um, due to the damage of the car, it was, a, it was a difficult extrication. The extrication took approximately uh, 20 to 25 minutes, not exactly sure of the time uh, yet, but it was it was a prolonged extrication um, due to the uh, the wreckage of the vehicle. Witnesses stated that this vehicle is a high rate of speed. Uh, by your expertise, looking at that vehicle and hitting that uh, pillar, speed probably made a factor on it. Uh, it's really tough to make that um, determination uh, at this point, but there's definitely a lot of uh, damage to that vehicle um, that would indicate that speed may have been a factor. Anything else to add? No, thank you very much. Anything, if uh, anybody did see anything, then call CHP? Yeah, contact CHP and, and, and just remember the rules of the road and how dangerous um, it can be and how quickly things can change for everybody.